Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to glue things underwater. So when you talk about gluing something together, usually you're talking about starting with some liquid, putting that liquid in between the two things you want to glue together, and then once they're together, you want that liquid to become a solid so that they can no longer come apart. So the question is, how can you make that liquid become a solid? Now there's a few ways to do that. For example, with regular Elmer's glue, the reason it solidifies after some time is because the water that's in it evaporates and then it becomes a solid. So it takes a long time for that to happen. And if you want to glue something underwater, forget about it because this is water soluble and you can't evaporate the water while it's underwater. So Elmer's glue is not going to work to glue something underwater. The other glue you're probably familiar with is super glue or cyanoacrylate. Now what happens with cyanoacrylate is that when you put two objects together, you have the super glue in between it. What actually happens is the super glue doesn't dry or anything. It's not like you're evaporating anything from it. But what you're trying to do is get the water that's in the air to start a chain reaction that makes the cyanoacrylate polymerize. So basically there's all these long chains in there, but in order to react, you have to start the reaction with some water and the water typically comes from the air. Although you don't have to get the water from the air, you can actually just get the water from liquid water. So if you spray cyanoacrylate in water, it instantly hardens like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa. It immediately just solidified. Look at that. That's so cool. And the same thing happens with this Uhu glue that I showed in a previous video where you can make these cool bubbles, water bubbles out of your faucet. The instant hardening is coming from the water reacting with it in the same way that it reacts with super glue. So in this case, the Uhu or super glue isn't going to work to glue something underwater because as soon as you get it underwater and it comes out of the tube, it hardens. Now your other option here is to do some type of epoxy, some AB epoxy. Now in this glue, what happens is you have two different chemicals that the only way they harden is when they get mixed together. So basically you have some working time. You have two of them, you mix them together, the AB epoxy, and then you have some amount of time before it hardens. And hopefully they're not water soluble. But most of the time these epoxies are water soluble until they're hardened. Now the problem with these AB epoxies, the ones that have to react together, is you kind of have a trade-off going. You can get them to react faster, but that means as soon as you mix them together, you have to hurry and glue your pieces together. So you don't have a lot of working time. But if you, take, if you have two of them that take longer to react, you have a longer working time, but then you have to keep whatever you're trying to glue together in place for a longer period of time. Well, it would be much better to have some type of glue that stays a liquid as long as you wanted it to stay liquid. And then suddenly when you say, okay, I want it to become a solid, then it instantly becomes a solid. Well, the problem with doing that is in order to have it become a solid, you'd have to have it react with something. And once you've already got your pieces in place, you wouldn't be able to mix anything in with it to get it to react. Unless that other something you're mixing in with it wasn't something that actually had a volume. In fact, what if that other something that you could mix in with it was just light? Okay, so I have here a specific silicone based liquid. And you can see it's kind of in a gel form right now. And I can actually leave it here for as long as I want and it's not going to harden. So let me leave it here for about 15 or 20 minutes. We'll come back, we'll see that it's still in this gel form. Okay, come back. Still as liquid as ever, it's just this gel still. But now here's the interesting part. So now watch what happens when I shine ultraviolet light on it. <laughs> Look at that. So now watch. <laughs> it's completely glued to it, solid on there. And what's nice about this, any of it that I got on my fingers is still just a liquid because I didn't shine the ultraviolet light on my fingers. And this is a solid bond now. Can't even pull it off. 
<laughs> Look at that. So now how this is working is the ultraviolet light actually acted as the catalyst. So until the catalyst started the reaction happening, nothing could actually happen. So what that ultraviolet light does is basically it comes in and knocks off an electron and it leaves the molecule without its full outer shells filled. And so it's very reactive. And that very reactive polymer now can react with another polymer. But now when it reacts with the other chain of polymer, then it still has the radical on the end and that radical can react with another chain and it just creates a longer and longer and longer and longer chain. And eventually that chain will terminate when two radicals come together and react. So you still have to keep hitting it with UV light to get it to propagate for a long distance. So basically anywhere that you're shining that UV light, it's going to harden right there. Anywhere where you're not shining it, it's not going to harden. So let's see if we can actually use this hydrophobic UV glue underwater and then harden it with the UV light and get it to harden underwater. Okay, so I think the best way to test this is just to try to glue my finger to the glass underwater. Let's see if I can do it. So let's get some of this gel on my finger here. I'm gonna put it under here, touch it to the glass. It's not hardening. You can see it's still a liquid. So I can take it off, it's fine. Now let's see what happens when I put UV light on it. Okay, let's see. <laughs> it is stuck. <laughs> let's see if I can glue two pieces together under there. Okay, I have two toothpicks here. This isn't hardening. Put it under the water. You can see it doesn't harden. You can still pull them apart just fine. Okay, now let's stick some UV light on it. Okay, now let's see if it glued together. Yep, <laughs> look at that. Solid. So you could even make kind of a 3D pen with this. If you keep the ultraviolet light on it. Now this light activated polymerization is actually what dentists are doing when they stick that blue light in your mouth when they're doing a filling. They're actually just using the light to trigger the polymerization to happen in your tooth. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified with my latest videos out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.